We're here now with the MPD on a lower. So here's our knot. Again, we should know generally that a knot pass is coming in an evolution. So we're pre-rigged. MPD lower knot pass is a really simple. We pre-rigged with a radium release ready to go and some sort of rope grab device. And here we're just using a prusik. So to do this one, really straightforward, we want to lower on the MPD until we get about a hand width between the device and the knot. Okay, so we've lowered. We want to go to step one, which is capturing the load on the load side of the knot. So here I'm going to set the parking brake and attach my radium load release hitch. Try to snug this up as much as you can. It helps out who's ever on the other end of the rope because they don't get a lot of settle on the process. When you set the radium or any load release, try to snug it up as tight as you can because we need to settle onto this. And if we've taken out as much slack as we can, the victim or the attendant who whatever's the other end doesn't see a lot of settle in the system and doesn't feel movement, which can be a little unnerving while we're doing the knot pass. We're gonna settle on and capture our load here on the prusik. Your team may want two prusiks or a mechanical grab. That's up to you. Again, we're talking about theory and right now we're just capturing load. Settle. Load is captured there. So the next step is to move the knot to the other side of the device. Our knot is moved. Give the MPD a little tug test to make sure we're locking up, and we are. Now we need to transfer the load back to our primary device. We're holding the load on our Prusik. We've moved the knot to the load side of the device. So we're ready to send this down the system. So all we have to do is extend this release hitch so this comes tight and carries the load. Orange line's coming tight. This no longer holds load. We're held here. We'd have someone grab and take control of this. This is now the break end of our rope. We're ready to lower.